In this video, you will see what exactly rotary encoders are, how they work, and how to interface them. Hi everybody, this is a rotary encoder, a very useful component. But sometimes this component is wrongly called as digital volume or digital potentiometer. This little component informs every rotation in clockwise or counterclockwise of its handle tour system by digital signals and often used for selecting something for example selecting washing program in washing machine in this video we will discuss about different types of this component take it apart and take a deep look at its mechanism test it and find the best way to interface this module with any MCU. But first of all, let's see two devices that a rotary encoder is used in it. Let's go. This is a rotary encoder in washing machine. It is used to select desired washing program. This is rotary encoder in car stereo. It's used for volume adjustment and seeking for sounds. This is the module and this silver colored part is the main component. If you turn this handle, you will sense the steps on your finger, like when you turn a stepper motor's shaft. Feels like that. This device should detect every movement and turning steps and direction of rotation, clockwise or counterclockwise, by these pins here. This component has additional feature. It has a hidden push button. You can hear the sound when I press it. This module has five pins here. Two of them are for power the module up, one of them is for push button, and two remainings are for rotation signals. Let's set up a symbol circuit and test the module with two LEDs. I need paper for drawing my schematic. Suppose that this is our module, it has five pins. Connect. G and the pin to ground, plus pin to 5 volts, ignore SW pin, and two other pins will connect to LEDs in this way. It is very simple. So I need breadboard, the module, some jumper wires. and my power supply and uh, two LEDs look at these LEDs when I rotate the handle in any direction both LEDs toggle, and at any moment, both of them are on or off, counterclockwise, clockwise. But if I turn the handle slowly, you will see the difference, clockwise. counterclockwise when I rotated clockwise first LED turn on or off before the second one and when I turn it counterclockwise second one turn on or off earlier this is the main idea behind rotary encoders, but factories implement this idea by their way. Most simple way to implement this idea is this. Suppose that this red plate is conductive and connected to ground and these two little 
points are signal electrodes blue and red when i rotate this red plate you see how electrodes are connected or disconnected to ground and this is enough to detect the rotation in both clockwise and counterclockwise when i rotate it clockwise firstly blue electrode is covered then red one and first blue electrode is uncovered and then the red one when i turn it counterclockwise firstly red electrode is covered and then blue one and red electrode is uncovered and then blue one this is how rotary encoders detect the direction let's take apart this module and this component to see what is inside i will use this tool to do that This is the module board and this is the component, rotary encoder main component. If you test this component with a multimeter, you can find that these two pins are for push button and these three pins are for rotary encoder. Let's use a multimeter, turn it on, set it on buzzer buzzer mode I use these two alligator clips to connect push button pins to multimeter press the button when you press the button two pins connect together let's test rotary encoder pins this is our component these are push button pins and this is three rotary encoder pins middle pin goes to ground and side pins go to leds this way like this five volt five volts these resistors are for limiting current from flowing through these LEDs. And I use 10 kilo ohms. I use my breadboard. Connect this rotary encoder to my breadboard. This is exactly same as the module. These two resistors are for pulling signal pins up and they were on module 2. Let's look at module again. These two 10K resistors are here for pulling signal pins up. And here is a place for push buttons pull up resistor here 
Let's go further and take the component itself apart. There is four pegs here for holding two parts together. By a cutter you can open the pegs and separate two sides. This little disc is push buttons and when you press the handle this disc connect button pins together. Let's test it with pen. And the thing is main part of rotary encoder. This disc do same task as all red plate. And like this. This and this. These two pins are electrodes. This and this. And little electrodes are for connecting common pin to this disk. When somebody turns the handle, common pin will connect to signal pins as already mentioned order. This is all about rotary encoders, but there is different types of rotary encoders in market. Don't worry, because principles and signal waveforms of them are same as this one. The difference is just in timing and signal shifting. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more XC videos. See you later.